What's up everybody, I'm Sean. I do a lot of quick videos and short videos about my university life just like this one. If you are new here, welcome and consider subscribing. This is a new series and it's called Sharing is Caring. It's basically a Q&A video where I will pick your questions from the comment section and answer it here. Without wasting any time, let's begin. Alright, first questions by Hasna Madali. What kind of gadget you use to record your video and how you edit that? Okay Hasna, in fact, I'm going to make a video called What's in my camera bag 2019? But for now, I'm going to show you what are the basic equipments that I'm using right now. One second. My main camera is this Canon EOS 200D with a 10 to 80 mm wide angle lens which I can zoom in and zoom out. And the microphone that I'm using is Rode Video Micro. Alright guys, next question is by Mokta Abdi. How much is the rent per room for a single room? Okay, the rental fee for one room per day is 8 ringgit Malaysia. So if there is two persons staying in one room, the rental fee is going to divide by two, which is 4 ringgit Malaysia per day. But all the price that I mentioned just now is for undergraduate students staying in my hostel, which is College Stafulo K10. The price will be slightly different for postgraduate student and other hostel. No worries, I'm going to put all the links down in the description box below. Next question by CS So Mac Tavish. Okay, Tavish. Water dispenser in which floor? Every floor, from floor number one up to floor number seven. Next question is by Anime Lover. Where can I iron my clothes? Our hostel used to provide iron, but for now you have to bring your own iron. Take note that only one iron is allowed per room. Alright, next question is by Toy Story Sandwich. Do they separate us based on our races for the room, or they actually mix different races per room? Yes, most of the time they will separate us based on our races for the room. But no worries, you can choose your roommate from second year onwards if you are not satisfied with your roommate during first year. Next question is by Muhib Book. Can a student from another faculty rather than engineering staying in K10? Yes, if there is an extra room, you can contact our hostel office to get the information. Next question is by Heng. Is the hostel with aircon? No, there is no air conditioner in my room. Aircon room is for international student or special person such as president of the hostel. Can you shoot another video to show us classroom, faculty, library and all those facilities? I've made a video about my faculty, I will link it up here or I will put it down in the description box below. Can self-transportation allowed in the campus, for example, car, bicycle, motorcycle and etc. Normally, final year student and athlete will have the privilege to apply for car sticker due to their FYP which stands for final year project and their training. But if you have a special reason such as you are the president of a society, then you can try to apply for the car sticker. May I know where is the washroom of the hostel? Sure, why not? Follow me. It's pretty near. Tala. All right, let's go back. Can you help us to shoot another video to introduce another hostel in UPM? This is a bit hard because we have 17 hostels in UPM. I used to stay at 3 different hostels, KC, K2 and my own hostel K10. They are pretty much the same, not much different. Yeah. If we are unsatisfied with the hostel that we get, what can we do? We can change. Yes, you can try to apply for your desired hostel. If there's extra room, then you will get it. But I don't recommend it because the hostel is well designed for your course. For example, if I were to change to K2, then it's very inconvenient for me to attend my class. And I'm going to separate with my classmate because I am staying at K2, but they are staying at K10. 
So it's very difficult for us to do the group assignments together. The next question is by Toy Story Sandwich again. Do first year students also need to clean the room every sand break too? Yes. Do we really need to take all the things back and not leaving anything behind? Yes. Every student is compulsory to clean and clear their room during semester break. I've explained it during my previous video. The reason is that our hostel will be used by the athlete for training and competition purpose during semester break. But no worries, if you cannot take everything back to your hometown, your country, you can put it at the pantry. Alright, next questions by... Comment down below if you know how should I pronounce this name. Awesome video man, wish you best of luck buddy. Thank you so much. How international students can apply their semester holiday? They also have to leave the room in semester break? Yes, everyone has to leave the room. Unless you have a special event going or any other special reason, then you can try to apply from the office. Next questions by Hank again. Can you shoot a video about UPM tour? I'm sorry Hank because UPM is too big to do a tour. So I'm going to share a video link down below. Next, can you shoot a video about the rules for the dorm? I've already uploaded the rules and regulation for my dorm in a Google Drive and I will put the link down in the description box below. Next, can you shoot a video about the merit points? Okay, for the merit points, in order to stay in hostel for the following year, we have to collect merit points. In fact, we have to collect four different types of merit points, which is hostel merit, faculty merit, university merit, and society merit. The minimum merit points for hostel merit, faculty merit, university merit, and society merit are 56 points, 24 points, 16 points, and 12 points respectively. First, let's talk about hostel merit, 56 points. For me, I think that it's both easy and difficult to get the hostel merit. It's easy because you just have to attend the hostel activities. And there are a lot of activities for you to attend. But it's difficult because we only get one merit point for attending one activity. Which means you have to attend 56 different hostel activities in order to get 56 hostel merit points. Now here's the trick. In my opinion, the easiest way to get hostel merit points is through participating Sukol. Sukol stands for Sukan College Hostel Competition. For example, if I represent table tennis for K10, I will get 8 merit points. If we get gold or silver medal, then we are going to get extra 2 or 3 hostel merit points. So what I did was I represented K10 for tennis, which I get bronze medal, basketball, which I get gold medal, and table tennis, which I get gold medal as well. Therefore, I get a lot of hostel merit points from the competition. Next, let's talk about faculty merits, 24 points, university merit, 16 points, and society merits, 12 points. Nothing special about these merit points. Just try to attend as much as possible. But if you can, try to represent UPM for competition. For example, I represented UPM for table tennis and Huawei Malaysia seats for the future 2019. Therefore, I get a lot of faculty and university merit points from there. My advice is try to stay in your hostel because that will save you a lot of time, money and energy compared to staying outside. I have also put the demerit point system in a Google Drive down in the description box below. Alright, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to comment any questions down in the comment section below. I will try to do another Q&A video very soon. So, hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to this channel if you aren't already. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss any of my videos in the future. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.